The moment of truth has arrived. It's time to drop the puck. The Ducks win the opening face-off, and we are underway with this one. And he takes the feed. Scores! And a little home cooking pays off as they get on the board quickly here. Gotta love the home cooking, James, as this team really fires up the crowd with that start and sending a clear message they want this game. You're not going to score off that unbelievable feed, James. He's just able to corral that pass and put it in the back of the net. Now he slides it up to Michael. Johns will play it to the corner. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. From behind the net. Quick shot. Stopped by the goaltender. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We've got a one nothing hockey game thus far. The Canucks start with the puck in the road end. Myers works the puck in his own zone. The Canucks are in transition. Anaheim's got the puck along the boards. Shot! Oh, he gets a blocker on it, but a stop by Demko. Slides the puck over. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. Look at this, they've got some bodies here on the attack. Jostling for the puck, but still maintains possession. Myers plays it against the boards. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. The Ducks have been picking off passes left, right, and center. You know the coach is going to like this, but it has to transition to offense. I mean, this game's awfully close. Anaheim's got a hold of it against the wall. Picked off by CeCe. Works it across to DeBrusque. Sorry for stepping on your toes, James, but that was a huge hit behind the play. And he takes the feed. On the attack along the boards. Vancouver's got control of the puck. And he moves it up to Sprong. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. The Ducks will play it from the defensive zone. Here's a short pass to Brink. And he caught him when he wasn't looking. What a hit. The cliche in hockey is you want to start the game hard and physical and really set the tone, and that's what he was doing right there. Made the save on the play. Great four check by Rossi. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. Shot! Denied by the goaltender. Crisp's going to slow it down here and hang on for the whistle. Well, a good decision right there to dictate the tempo of the game, especially when he hasn't been busy. He's engaging right now. The Ducks have put a lot of pucks on net here in the first, and they continue to lead. Anaheim's got the puck in the defensive end. Powers got it in the offensive zone. Big time glove saved by Demko. It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well, and this time he gets in front of the puck, puts right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. Referee singles penalty coming up here with a delayed call. Whistle blows, stopping the play. Well, the bench doesn't like this call, James. It's untimely, to say the least, with that one goal lead. Now, the PK unit, they got to get out there, and they got to do a job. Yeah, guys, this power play is ranked top 10 in the league, and if they just get a couple good looks, they could truly capitalize on this. Let's see what happens in their first one of the game here. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. They clear the zone. Here they come, down the right side and on the attack. The Ducks get a hold of the puck, undermanned. 
After the first power play unit was unsuccessful, the second unit will come on. They'll need to be urgent here as the clock is winding down, but there's still time to get one in. Quick feed to Garland. Strong defensive effort. Vancouver's got possession of the puck. The Canucks move to the offensive zone. Feeds it over. Anaheim's got possession while undermanned. And the puck leaves the zone. Vancouver's got a hold of it along the wall. And that pass goes off a stick. What a steal in his own end. Quick pass to Besser. Broken up by Niskanen. Up along the wing. Dumps the puck in. The Canucks scoop it up along the boards. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Scrum along the wall. Tries to get it to Suter. From center, they get into the attacking area. Center and key, and that's intercepted. Anaheim's going on the attack as they gain the zone. Gets a glove on it to make the save. Miller's ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Huge stop for the one-timer. Nice zone entry from the left. Oh, he came to bring the physicality tonight. Power forwards are often heavy on their skates. They're strong, they're physical, and they know how to retrieve pucks. And man, can they deliver bone-crushing hits. And he loses control of the puck. Puck hops out of the offensive zone. They'll be forced to do it over from center. Moves it to Hughes. The Canucks move the puck in the defensive zone. And he slides it quickly to Hughes. Oh, great move to sidestep the check. And that's poked away. Oh, he'll feel that one. Now a quick pass to Hughes. The goaltenders can't make the save, but they can't get in front of the puck, James, and he anticipates this so well. It's also skating. That power push cross crease makes the save. The Ducks can control the puck against the wall. Slides it up to Silverberg. Chris has been very precise in his movements, a reason why he's on this shutout streak, James. He's been playing fantastic. Just a great defensive read there. Oh, and he gets a piece of that one to keep it out. Vancouver's got it in their own zone. A little bump and grind, but still hangs on to the puck. Straight up the middle. Here they come. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Getting into the later stages of this period. Anaheim's up one zip. The Ducks will go to work here in the offensive zone. Johns looks around. Nice defensive robbery on that. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Quick pass across to Strong. And he was ready for that one. And it's a quick pass to Johns. Passes it over to Champion. The Canucks get a hold of the puck in the open ice. Slides it diagonally to Suter. There's a solid collision. Quick shot! Denies him! Crisp's been outstanding. I mean, he gets to position to be able to make that point playing save. Sent into the offensive zone. Dayarnay's taking it from his own end. Sends a pass over. Anaheim's got it along the wall. Wax it into the offensive zone. And now he passes up to Sadine. Clock ticking down here inside the first period. Great save! Anaheim's got a hold of the puck now. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck.
Time to get a clean sheet of ice here as period number one comes to an end. As you heard the horn sound, we'll be back with much, much more as this is going to be a fun one tonight. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? Vancouver's only trailing by one here, and they're kind of fortunate, James. They've had some big saves by their goaltender, and they just mismanaged the puck. If they can correct that heading into this second, they've got some runway to get back in this game. And he had the answer on that one. Champions got the puck in his own zone. And now he angles it across to Michael. Costs it up in the neutral zone. The Ducks have it deep inside their own end. Moves it quickly over to Champion. There's a shot. Oh, a true warrior to block that. Tiptoes around the poke check. He tips it. He got all on that one. Scooped up along the wall by Heronic. And he slides it quickly to Besser. Great reach with the poke check by Dolly. And the intensity starting to ramp up here after that hit. Dahlin's moving the puck through his own zone. Shot! Oh, look at the glove save by Demko. Still plenty of time left in this frame. one nothing to score. Anaheim's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Answered the call on that play. That knocks it off the puck. Quick feed to Richards. And now he moves it quickly to Silverberg. The score! And that's back-to-back -back snipes. Well, it feels like there's a wave of momentum, and it has certainly changed here. You can get the opportunity, but you have to execute. That's two in a row. Well, the key to passing is also knowing the receiver, and he has an uncanny ability to know exactly who he's passing to in the wheelhouse, where they're played, and how they're going to get it off effectively. I mean, he's incredible when it comes to distribution. Anaheim's got to be feeling good about how their game is going tonight, extending the lead to two. And I think there's a bit of relief here, James. I mean, when you've been peppering the goaltender all night long and you're not being rewarded for it, Sometimes it can go the other way, but they execute on that one and they give themselves a cushion. The Canucks look to start the transition game. Takes a bump but hangs on to the puck. Oh, what a block! He'll get a pat on the back from the coach when he gets off, if he can get off. The Canucks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Taken along the wall by Garland. Gaining momentum up along the side. Angles it over to Pedersen. Dismissed that chance. Well, a great A scoring chance taken away from the inner slot because he's so aggressive and gets to the top of his crease. And the stick breaks on the shot. Puck scooped up by Sprong. Takes it to the net. Fires it on net. Drills him. And he slides it quickly to Dayarnay. And that's blocked from someone in front. And it's a fancy footwork to kick it over to his teammate. Takes that pass back at the point. Suter's working it around in the corner. Grabs possession of the puck. Oh, how did that stay out? Oh, I don't even know how he made that save, James. That was all but in the net and complete desperation and compete level to make that one. Demko's gonna hang on to the puck for a whistle. Scarf night, you know, I wasn't sure how this would be received, but it certainly looks like a pretty good crowd came out. I know a lot of fans were lined up early before they opened the doors to make sure they got their scarf, and looks like a good time, and a lot of smiles by a lot of kids out there tonight. Oh, what a club save by Demko! There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Hey, always a good time at the rink, and the good times get even better because they're giving away free stuff. Team's giving away Puck souvenir collectibles. Coming up next game, I'm told there's still a few tickets left online. Jump on board now. They take possession as he locks him up off the faceoff. 
Here's a short pass to Bluger. The Ducks gain possession in their own end. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Scoops up the puck now. And here's the pass to Heronik. Poked away at center ice. Passes it to Niskanen. Anaheim's cut it along the wall. Vancouver's gained possession. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. And he gives it over to Hughes. Slides the puck across to Holtlander. Moves it to Heronik. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. Taken by Heinen. Scoops up the puck here. Oh, set that hit up perfectly. They've got the defense outnumbered. Gives him a jolt with that hit. And now it's to Besser. A chance for the rush here. Over the line. Broken up. What a play defensively. Hooked away at center by Miller. The Ducks take it along the wall. Vancouver's got the puck. Quick pass over to Miller. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Slides the puck down low. Now a quick pass to Myers. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Silverberg. Takes the pass. Jabs the puck away. Quick feed to Faber. Vancouver's got the puck along the wall. The Ducks will play it in their own end. Handles the puck. And he can't hang on after that hit. And that's offside, stopping the play. Well, another sellout here inside the arena tonight. Cheryl, I got a question for you. You know who likes a winner? Everyone Everybody likes a winner. winner. Yeah. I think I had that tagline, no problem. And this entire building loves a winner, and that's why they're here. They've been following their team who's been doing so many things well, in particular their energy and dictating the pace right from the get-go. You can feel it. It's electric and passionate in here. Too much congestion in front. Anaheim's got the puck along the wall. Centering feed, and that's intercepted. Anaheim's got it in the neutral zone. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. Pokes it away in his own end. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. It'd be tough when you're waiting on your first NHL goal, but he's in the ozone right now, and he's looking for ways to get to the net. The Canucks ready to go on the attack. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Richards knows he has a point streak going here, and when the puck's on your stick and you're feeling that confident, you direct everything to the net, and sometimes you get lucky, and sometimes it's just skill. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. Rocks him on the play. Some solid defensive work in the road end with the poke check. The Canucks have it now. And he handles the cross ice pass. With some open space at center. And that's knocked away by Darlene. Hammers it on net, and he misses that one. He's in a strong stance in front of the net, hands away from his body. Good hand-eye coordination, but just taps it down and away from the net. They put the puck into the offensive end. And he comes up with it. Quick pass to DeBrusk. Great positioning by the defender. And he sidesteps the check, and he hangs on just as time runs out. There's the buzzer bringing the second period to an end. Been a great night of hockey here on EA Sports, and we've got a third period just around the corner. They've been sitting back all game. They've been flat, and they're lucky. They're fortunate that they're still in this game. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Johns has it along the boards. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. 
slides it across. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. Demko's been excellent tonight, James. I mean, the score could be a lot worse. His save percentage is great. He's doing everything to keep his team in it. They need to shore up their defensive end and get going north. Lots of time left in this period. Anaheim's got some breathing room as they lead it 2 nothing. Pedersen's won the faceoff. Battling for the puck, but still hangs on. Uses the force on that hit. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And that's blocked in traffic. Pinned up along the boards. Picked up along the wall by Faber. The Ducks pick up steam and are on the attack. Can't get a hold of that pass. Along the right wall and into the offensive end. Tries to feed it over to Pedersen. And they'll be forced to tag up after that missed pass. Anaheim's gained possession along the boards. And there's a great save by Demko. Oh, the stick collapses on the play. That's got to be so frustrating. Extremely frustrating, James. I know my dad would say they don't make them like they used to, but that <laughs> is a critical time to have it snap in half. Takes control of the puck. Passes on over to Brink. The Canucks take possession in the neutral zone. Moves it to Susie. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Niskanen. The Ducks have been playing great defensively. Their six are in the right position, but they need to make good on them. This game is awfully close. And it's a quick pass to DeBrus. Puck picked up in the open ice. Great heads up play with the stick by Faber. Tries to get the puck over to Brink. Moves it around along the half wall. Here's an offensive chance. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. Passes it over. And forces a huge turnover here with the steal. Puts it on net. And he stags that one with the club. Goaltender covers it up and we'll get a reset here. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. 2-0 is the score. Anaheim's got a hold of the puck. Receives the pass. Coughs up possession of the puck. Some good stick work to force that turnover. Oh, he stops him with the glove. Great reflexes there. Anaheim's been on a roll all night long, and they continue to lead in the third. The Canucks win the draw on their own end. And he slides it quickly to Forbort. And that's knocked away. Anaheim's got the puck. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Vancouver's got a hold of it along the wall. The Canucks get a hold of the puck in their own end. And now he moves it quickly to Hopeland. Getting a little physical out there, but still holds on to the puck. Takes a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. The Ducks cross the blue line and are on the attack. Moves the puck. They'll change things up on the back end as that's sent in deep. And he takes the dish. Silverberg's got the puck. And that pass is redirected. They fight for it along the boards. The Ducks gain control of the puck. What a fantastic read and push to get cross crease to make the save. Slides the puck to Bluger. And they'll dump it in. Anaheim's got a hold of it against the wall. Tippett's lugging the puck. And he slides it quickly to Silverberg. The Canucks take possession in the defensive end. Now a quick pass to Pedersen. Oh, and a smart heads-up play. He takes the feed. Anaheim's done a great job in front of the goaltender, making sure they clear rebounds and that the tender sees absolutely everything that comes their way. Now they're protecting the shutout. Of course, that's a goaltender stat, but everyone should get the reward of that big fat zero. Past the midway mark of the frame, the Ducks lead this one to zip. And they win the offensive zone faceoff, and here we go. Dishes it off. Grabs it and rips it. Oh, we got a piece of it to keep it out. 
Well, these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Slides it on over to Sedin. Fires it! Stones him on the play! Vancouver's got possession here in the offensive zone. Scores! Well, don't turn this off just yet. We've got ourselves a game. Well, deficit of only one now. Their opponent is on their heels, and now they're playing with a sense of urgency. Watch out. You can feel the wave coming, James. Well, he's had just an outstanding performance, James. He's been dialed in. He's been at the top of his crease, but he is not going to be happy because the goose egg, it is over as he lets one by. The Canucks have made this a one-goal game here in the third. Might be the final dance in the third period, but there is a lot of runway as this team is on fire right now. And we saw that with that last goal as they're within striking distance. You can feel the energy. It's just popping out of them right now. Moves it quickly over to Sprong. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Slotted away with the stick in the defensive zone. And the puck's booted away. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Inside the offensive end, now down the left. And we'll get a breather here with offside the call. The Ducks are looking to close things out. They have been dominant all night long, and they continue to lead late in the third. Richards has won the draw here in the neutral zone. And a poke check knocks the puck away. And the play continues. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Directs it on over to Silverberg. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. Here's a short pass to Hughes. Vancouver's got a hold of the puck. Approaching the final minute of regulation. And he denied him there. He always have those players who keep the play alive, and he's one of them. He just knows how to shift his weight, shield the puck, and manipulate his opponent to get it to the net. The goaltender outbounds him on this one, but it's a great effort. A big draw moving here in the offensive zone. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. Oh, and that battle ends as the puck gets loose. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. The Ducks look to start the transition game. Goaltender has scores into the empty net. Counter, I feel like you must have had a few empty netters in your day. Oh, yeah. Listen, I was on the back end, and I didn't have hands. So when I scored one, listen, I celebrated. I was down and out. Fist pumping everywhere, even when it was the empty net. Because that empty net goal went in. Everyone on the bench and on the ice knew that that put the game to bed. Stop time, and after that empty netter, uh, quite a significant lead on their side now here, Cheryl. Yeah, James, it's all but over, isn't it? And that's a great play to be able to get that puck 200 feet down on the ice when you're under pressure with the extra attacker. Quick feed to Darlene. Moves the puck along the half wall. Oh, he's going to get cold on that slash. Quick whistle stops the play. He's going to get the slashing call, and the officials are really trying to crack down on these types of plays because they can be dangerous. He's going to get the two-minute minor. Shakes off the coverage. Turns it over. 
There's the final horn, and this one's in the books. An emphatic win, and we can put that W as a capital. Well, it's almost as if their opponent were defeated before the game started. I mean, you can see it in the warm-up, just in their body language, playing a team that's on a winning streak, playing with a ton of confidence. They didn't give their opponent any opportunity to get life in this game. And the fans are getting loud once again to salute the Warriors here, Cheryl. Oh, well, yeah, this is a lot of fun. I mean, this is the connection that you see between the fan base and their team, and it's a tradition, right? You come out on the ice, and you want to salute them and say thank you for providing energy throughout the game. Well, that brings a fun night of hockey to the end for all of us here at EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski. She's Cheryl Pounder. We will see you next time at the rink.